good evening in today's session we are going to discuss regarding one very 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 important act called digital personal data protection act digital personal data protection act of 2023 this is the act that has been passed by the parliament in the year 2023 and please remember this is yet to be implemented this is going to be implemented after the completion of the general elections and the formation of the new government in india now basically what will happen whenever any law is passed by the parliament that will not be implemented immediately in order to implement a law you have to frame rules and regulations with respect to that particular law and then only that law will be implemented and with respect to digital protection digital personal data protection act is concerned the rules and regulations are being framed this is going to be implemented after the completion of the general elections in india now let's try to understand more about this what do you mean by digital personal data protection when whenever i say data that is the information clear and that information has to be protected data has to be protected but whose data is this this is the data of personal meaning personal data of an individual has to be protected what do you mean by personal data personal data is that data by which a person is identified by looking at my aadhar card number i can be identified by looking at my pan number driving license number you know this uh, uh, election card so my identification can be revealed clear and that is the personal data personal data means this is the data of a person this is the data which identifies a person so this is called the personal data if the same personal data is digitalized that is called digital personal data nowadays you are looking at the newspaper you are watching in the tv also that the personal data is getting misused clear so for whatever may be the reasons our personal data how come somebody can misuse so this is a big question especially after the concept of this digitalization the data is being misused many 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 times that is the reason why the parliament has thought that it is better to get an act to protect the personal data and the to digital personal data very 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 important one i repeat protection you are going to protect the data of an individual that is called personal data personal data is that data by which a person can be identified digital personal data is that personal data which has been digitalized and this digital personal data has to be protected and this is the meaning of this particular law am i clear so now whatever i am going to tell you you will be in a position to comprehend very very easily let's look at more points now this is the act tomorrow if there is a question with related with relation to this particular act this is called a dpdp act right so this is a digital personal data protection act of 2023 you please begin your answer like this clear this is an act to provide for the processing of digital personal data in a manner that recognizes both the rights of the individuals to protect their personal data and the need to process such personal data for lawful purposes and for matters connected therein there with are incidental thereto so you have to understand this concept very clearly and closely this act provides for the processing of digital personal data what do you mean by processing here processing is nothing but collection of our data storage of our data security of our data utilizing that data only for the purpose for which that data has been collected this is called the data processing am i clear that is the reason why so if you go to a bank we give the information clear so when you are booking the flight tickets so we provide our information 
and we are providing that information only for that particular purpose clear so when it comes to processing so that concerned authority or agency that is collecting the data is that clear and that data is being used for a particular purpose hence data processing is nothing but the collection storage security and using the data for that purpose for which it has been collected that is called data processing is that okay so this data processing it is processing the digital personal data in a manner that recognizes the rights of the individuals so every individual has got the rights so right to privacy is a fundamental right if my data is revealed to all then that is considered to be the violation of my fundamental right but at the same time i cannot deny for giving the information once it is asked for a particular purpose if i go to a bank i want to open an account they ask me for the information if i say no i cannot open my account that is the reason why so when i am giving the information my data to certain authorities so we should also make sure that this particular data is being used for that particular bank only for the purpose of opening the account and nothing else so this is the basic idea clear so that is protecting the rights of the individuals and also pro protect my personal data and the need to process the personal data for lawful purposes so what happens tomorrow in that bank some fraud might have happened during that particular time the concerned authorities wants to verify the data of all the people who are holding accounts in so and so branch of a particular bank so obviously that has to be given right so meaning on one side there is a talk with respect to protection of our personal data at the same time our data can be used for the lawful purposes this is very 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 important one as long as my data is being used for lawful purposes i should not have any objection is that okay but in case there is a misuse or mismanagement with with my personal data then that is considered to be violation of my rights am i clear so data for the lawful purposes and the matter connected there with are incidental there too this is the basic purpose of this particular act two things here one is to protect our rights at the same time it can be used by the agencies or authorities for lawful purposes only this is the definition that you are going am i clear so this is the basic purpose of coming out with this particular act am i clear now let's go ahead and discuss more things on this look at this very closely look at this so some information for your better understanding which i have already explained to you personal data is that data by which a person may be identified when i am saying my personal data means my aadhar is my personal number my uh, my personal data my my pan is my personal data my election right so my voter id card is my personal data my driving license is my personal data my ration card is my personal data my passport is my personal data is that okay and that data if it is digitalized that is called digital personal data and this law is meant for protecting the digital personal data am i clear now so when it comes to digital personal data the data that is in the digital form next data fiduciaries very very important fiduciaries who are these fiduciaries so look at this these may be the persons these may be the companies and this may be the government authorities who process the data very 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 important that is called data fiduciaries tomorrow it may be a question in the examination right who exactly are permitted to you know process the data clear so then they will give you data fiduciaries data principles principles right both none 
your answer should be data fiduciaries who are the data fiduciaries that may be persons companies or the government entities who process the data clear when it comes to data principles right i am data principal right meaning the person to whom the data relates to clear right obviously what happens tomorrow if there is something goes wrong right authorities may call a person based on the information data that is provided and the data to whom so ever that belongs to that person is called data principal data principal is it okay data principal is an individual data fiduciary is a person or company or government authorities right who process the data clear then what do you mean by data processing i told you already collection storage or any other operation on personal data that is called data processing right what are the you know 1 2 3 4 5 points i have shown here all these are reflecting in the you know uh, this particular act very 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 important so with this understanding let's go ahead and discuss more regarding you know digital personal data protection act look at this so what are the salient features of this act right this protects the digital personal data the obligation of the data fiduciaries for the data processing clear so meaning data processing should be done only by data fiduciaries data protection has to be done by the fiduciaries number 2 this is recognizing the rights and duties of the data principals meaning the people on one side it is mentioning about data fiduciaries second one it is mentioning about the rights and duties of the data principals and third one is the financial penalties for the breach of rights and duties and obligations what will happen if my privacy is breached tomorrow i need to go and lodge a complaint so that will be verified right and after verification if it is confirmed that my data has been breached my rights and privileges have been violated right and then obviously what will happen the authorities will impose financial penalties on data fiduciaries because they are responsible for the protection of my rights is that clear very 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 important one right see basically in the examination you know when you are writing about this act what is the meaning of data fiduciary what is the meaning of data you know this is personal principles so like this you know you need not mention if you keep on mentioning all these things you know that will lead to you know the wastage of uh, uh, number of words clear so you will be getting diverted or deviated from the actual answer from the essence that is the reason why tomorrow if it is a question directly related to uh, discuss the salient features of this act digital personal data protection act straight away start writing about the definition and give the salient features but tomorrow if there is a question related to what do you mean by data fiduciaries as mentioned in digital protection data digital personal data protection act and explain the salient features then you need to mention about the you know data fiduciaries otherwise you need not mention so this all will come to you through a very very serious and sincere practice clear next this particular act also seeks to achieve achieve what introduce data protection law with minimum disruption while ensuring necessary change in the way data fiduciaries process the data clear there should be very very less you know disruption whatever the data i am giving only that data can be stored only that data can be processed clear it will enhance the ease of living and ease of doing business 
clear meaning is simple then during the time more people will come forward to share the data because they are guaranteed that their personal data is protected digital personal data is protected right so once they have the confidence that will lead to you know more ease of living and ease of doing business look at this how this is you know getting you know uh, connected next it will enable india's digital economy and its innovation ecosystem amically that is the reason why more is the you know digital personal data that will lead to more innovations clear very 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 important but at the same time everybody in this particular loop must take care that the data of an individual the so called personal data the so called digital personal data has to be protected clear next right and this dpdp is based on the following seven principles right you are collecting the data and where exactly you can the use the data how this data has to be handled that is given in the form of how many principles seven principles one is the principle of a consented lawful and a transparent use of the personal data when i am sharing my data with a bank or with any other authority i am giving consent to use a particular data to process particular data only for the lawful purposes is that clear very 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 important number 2 the principle of purpose limitation meaning for whatever the purpose the data is being provided to you use my data only for that purpose and not for any other purpose and it is called the principle of purpose limitation number 3 the principle of data minimization meaning don't try to collect my complete personal data take only that data which is required for this particular purpose that is called data minimization number 3 data accuracy ensure that the data that is provided is you know accurate and updated for example here you all have you know aadhar cards for example here when i took the aadhar card for the first time i was living in some other locality and that locality address has been given over there right so over a period of time i moved to some other place then what should be done i cannot use the earlier aadhar data with old address that is the reason why i need to go to this udai i need to apply through online or i can go personally to the me seva e seva centers and request for the modification in my you know this uh, communication that is nothing but the postal address and i need to show the proof that i am staying in the new area accordingly so the address is modified meaning i am updating so my information is accurate that is present with the government otherwise what will happen tomorrow right if the data if there is a data mismatch then obviously the data principle the data principle is you know he will be punished that is the reason why we need to update the information from time to time and we should make available our correct data exact data accurate data for the authorities at any given point of time clear next is the the principle of a storage limitation you are collecting my data and store that data only till the time till the function is not done so once the work is over you you please erase my data so don't keep my data with you beyond the required time next principle of reasonable security safe guards must be provided my data should not be stolen my data should not be used by any other person or authorities without my consent clear next is the the principle of accountability through adjudication of data breaches and breaches of the provisions of the bill and imposition of penalties for the breaches meaning whenever our data is breached our privacy is breached clear then during the time we need to go to the authorities and file a complaint and the judgment will be given in our favor after verifying the various facts am i clear so what are these principles that you should remember right in the examination if you don't remember all the seven principles right at least five at least four 
clear and mention etc right now look at this next the dpdp has few other innovative features like it is concise it is very concise and subtle you might have heard this you know abbreviation subtle many many times subtle stands for simple accessible rational and actionable law simple accessible rational and actionable law clear so meaning is simple very very important one the most beauty of this particular act is that it has used a plain language otherwise in majority of the acts what will happen if a common man reads that particular law he will not be in a position to understand clear he or she will not be in a position to understand and i am going to use the word she here after some time so the most most important one for the first time the word she has been used in a particular act i'll tell you that right so they have used very plain language it contains illustrations that make the meaning clear but generally what will happen if you read a particular law the meaning is not clear for most of the people is that okay and it contains no provisions like provided that clear so you will be eligible to write this examination provided meaning some condition you are giving such conditions are not given here this is the most 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 you know subtle one clear and it has minimum minimal cross referencing that is the beauty of this particular law and there may be a question what are the innovative features of digital personal data protection act then you need to write these points language is simple it contains illustrations that make the meaning clear contains no provisions like you know the provided that right and it has minimal cross referencing these points are really really very important another beautiful point i would like to tell you for the first time it happened in india in a particular law for example you know if you are if you want to mention about a person in constitution or you know any law generally what will happen you need to mention it as a he or she but in indian system right rather majority of the systems throughout the world the word he is mentioned not she is that okay so this is what is happening since the beginning that is the reason why if you read the constitution of india for example what are the qualifications of the president what are the qualifications of a person to contest in the election as you know the president right so then the you know the qualifications are given like this as you already know but my interest to tell you about this is to mention about the word he because we have replaced he and we added she in this particular act is that okay now so the qualifications of a person to contest in the election as the president right he must be a citizen of india he must be a citizen of india then what will happen if a woman contests over there no such explanation is given clear and already we had you know uh, a woman president and correct current president is also a woman we know that one clear pratibha patil was the first woman president and the current uh, president is the shrimati uh, draupadi murmu we already know that but here the point is that though the constitution has mentioned as the word he women also contested women also became the president meaning you have to take the word he in such a way that it is you know uh, you know that may be a person like that may be he or she so he also represents the she that is the meaning we have taken all these days that is the reason why when you are studying about anthropology also we say that is the study of man is that okay study of man then what about women meaning there is a common gender that is used for both the sexes is that okay so uh, he should be a citizen of india he must have completed 35 years of age right and he should he should be qualified to be elected as a member of the lok sabha like this you know he 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 is mentioned is that okay but for the first time to acknowledge the women in the parliament the word he has been replaced by she 
it happened for the first time hence for me this is the most and most important point with respect to this particular law and in the examination if there is a question don't forget to mention about this many people will ignore and i don't want you to ignore this particular point very 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 important i am clear look at this now by using the word she instead of he for the first time it acknowledges meaning a particular act acknowledges women in parliamentary law making it happened for the first time this may be repeated in future but this law will remain as a first law where he has been mentioned as she am i clear so this is how india is respecting women this is how india is acknowledging the women in the parliament this is how we are trying to bring in more women empowerment am i clear very 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 important next it provides for the following rights of the individuals so we are giving our data but what are our rights so the right to access information about the personal data processed my data you have taken and you have processed my data and i want to know about that information yes i have every right to get that information the right to correction and erasure of the data at any time i can correct my existing data at any time if i want to erase my data i should be permitted the right to grievance redressal if i feel that my rights have been breached or violated then i have the right to grievance redressal the right to nominate a person to exercise the right in case of death or incapacity so today we are giving the information tomorrow the person may die or the person person may become you know incapacitated then obviously that data has to be handled by a nominee and this act provided for the appointing a nominee for you know, taking care of the data so these are all the you know the individual rights provided to data principles is that clear now right so generally a question may be asked in a comprehensive manner right? discuss the salient features of you know this act or if they are very specific about the right so discuss about the digital personal data protection act providing you know the rights to the individuals then you have to mention this am i clear so that all your answer depends on your question clear next another important thing is that for enforcing his or her rights an affected data principal may approach the data fiduciary in the first instance there is a violation of my right then we will be approaching the data fiduciary in case the person is not satisfied the person can complain against the data fiduciary to the data protection board in a hassle free manner meaning initially if any person's data is violated then you can approach data fiduciary even after that if the person is not happy or satisfied then you can approach the data protection board very 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 important one right next next if you go further this particular you know act provides for the obligations on data fiduciary rights of data principles obligations of data fiduciary provide security safeguards intimate personal data breaches if any is that okay so give the permission for erasing the personal data when it is no longer needed to erase personal data upon the withdrawal of the consent everything should be accepted by data fiduciary to have in place a grievance redressal system and an officer to respond to the queries from the data principal right so we have right to approach you data fiduciary has to answer and every arrangement has to be made by data fiduciary to fulfill certain obligations in respect to whom data fiduciary is notified as a significant data fiduciary is right you have to appoint a data auditor and conducting periodic data protection impact assessment to ensure the higher degree of data protection 
ultimately data has to be protected that should be protected qualitatively and it is the responsibility of the data fiduciary to take all these measures these are the obligations the compulsions on the part of the data fiduciaries clear right so now when it comes to the children right are we sharing our children information also yes just born baby information is also there right people are taking aadhar cards people are taking you know pan cards clear their names are being included in the ration cards passports you need to take clear so this act allows a data fiduciary to process the personal data of children only with the parental consent because we are adults we are giving the data giving data is nothing but giving consent for processing our data but not the data of the children children's data can be processed only with the consent of the parents that's it the bill does not permit processing which is detrimental to the well-being of the children or involving their tracking behavioral monitoring and targeted advertising very 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 important one sometimes in some schools you see they arrange you know the cc cams and those cc cams are being used for behavioral monitoring of the children if there is a demand for you know such information to be used for the data monitoring or tracking that is not permitted meaning children's data can be processed only with the permission of the parents that to do to some limitation if it goes beyond the limitation that permission should not be given clear next meaning is simple it is not just adults rights protection but the children's data should also be protected next look at this what are the exemptions obviously government has to have the upper hand so what are the exemptions for notified agencies in the interest of the security sovereignty and public order all right so it has to be given the highest priority then in those cases for those agencies data will be shared right you cannot have any objection for that clear for research archiving and statistical purposes for startups or other notified categories of data fiduciaries for enforcing legal rights and claims data has to be you know given to perform judiciary or regulatory functions to prevent detect investigate or prosecute offenses to process in india personal data of non residents under the foreign contract for approved merger or demerger etc and to locate defaulters and their financial assets right so there are defaulters they ran away and if the fiduciary is not giving the data then what is the use right so this is for maintaining the public order hence certain exemptions must be given to certain agencies so these are all the exemptions am i clear right and what are the key features of the board so what is this board here a person's rights have been violated he has approached right he has approached the data of fiduciary but not satisfied then the person is moving to you know the board so it will give directions for remediating or mitigating data breaches to inquire into data breaches and complaints and impose financial penalties financial penalties are imposed by this board to refer complaints for alternate dispute resolution and to accept voluntary undertakings from data fiduciaries and to advise the government to, to block those websites apps etc of a data fiduciary who is found to repeatedly breach the provisions of the bill right so what are all the provisions that are being violated by a fiduciary then this board will advise the government to, to block the website and the app so that its functions will be closed what is the reason here because they have breached the provisions that are provided in this particular act 
am I clear? So this is you know a very 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 important act to have discussed. As I tell you every time, you know please don't forget to you know uh, write down the points, and these points will be utilized. You can use it for the purpose of revision. I told you many times, watching the video, you know, one time seriously is really enough. Or watch the video for the second time. But if you keep on trying to watch the same video again and again, that will kill lot of your time. Am I clear? What right? But you have the facility to access these videos at any point of time. And I want you to utilize this opportunity only in certain cases where exactly you did not understand the concept. Otherwise, watching for one or two times is more than enough, provided you have to take the notes. Clear? You have to take the brief notes, and you can, you know, write, uh, uh, revise it from time to time. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next session.